get into our uh, first guest. She is a hot young actress on the show 24, one of my favorite shows on television over at Fox. Please welcome the lovely Sarah Winter, everybody. Sarah? She comes from the land down under. Women glow and men plunder. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. You, you look lovely. You look very vegas you. you got well, the little the I, shimmer, the I glam. I couldn't resist. And I tried to do a little Marilyn Monroe hair. Oh, you look great. Well, I didn't do it, but I, How I are requested you? it. I'm great. How are you? Being on a show like 24, I'd imagine you would take the number 24 and, and bet on it somewhere. That is a really good idea. I haven't um, been able to gamble yet. Yeah? I've been um, pretty good since I got here. So after the show, it's my opportunity to gamble and have fun and, right. you know, hit a bar. Uh, this is your second time to Vegas? Yeah, second time. What? I came um, with my family a couple of years ago. My um, mother and stepfather renewed their wow, their wows, their vows. Wow. Wow. <laughs> they really, they renewed their at, vows at here the in Vegas? At the Graceland Chapel by Elvis. By Elvis? Yep. Elvis, did you have something to do with her? Wise man say. Yeah. Yeah, He's a member of the union, apparently. Yeah, divorces too. <laughs> Uh, it wasn't that Elvis, though. So, no, he resembled that Elvis. It was the older Elvis. That seems like a very... What was that experience like? Why it did they decide It was wonderful. To do that? They just, you know, we were coming to Las Vegas, and we were trying to think of fun things to do, and um, my mother suggested they do that. So the kids wow. were there, my brother, my sister. Was it like a freak show in there with an Elvis? It and... was. I wouldn't say it was a freak show. My mom's a big Elvis fan, so right. she, she loved it. Listen, after the show, you should take this Elvis and just take him home back to, like, Australia or whatever. Would you and come with me? Give it to your mother as a, as a gift from the show. Honey, I'd love to go down under. <laughs> Colonel Parker, we're going to do it. I'd love to. I'd you know what's great? That Elvis is an impersonator on the show tonight, but I swear to God, in two weeks, he'll be a writer on our show back in New York. <laughs> <laughs> we'll actually hire him. Looking for work, Carson. Uh, you know. Yeah, well. He's quick. You definitely have to change the hairdo. Would you ever get married by an impersonator? Is that something you would do in real life? Um, I think I would do a more traditional, like, have, um, you know. Like somebody that's not, you know, <laughs> trying to pretend to be somebody else actually marry you, right? Um, yeah, like a, 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 an ordained, priest, I don't know, priest. Something or, like that. Yeah, or a minister or a, or a justice of the peace or, you know. Right. But you never know. Never say never. But people here in Vegas, they lose their minds. They, they're liable to do anything. Right. We read about it all the time with right. celebrities. Yes, they come here to, you know, get, get nasty. Right. I've been so good since I've been here, though. We have to change all of that. Maybe in the second segment, you can get crazy and nasty. Woo! Uh, before we do take a break, there's my favorite thing about this hotel, the Hard Rock, is that after a long night of drinking and gambling, one of my favorite things is they have a vanilla bean milkshake. I don't know if you guys have ever had one here. And it's awesome. It really is. Like, the best milkshake you'd ever have at Mr. Lucky's 24-7, the 24-hour uh, place there. And I got them for the entire audience tonight. Well, let's do that now. And one we have one me. for you, Sarah. Come on in. Bring in the milkshakes. Yeah. Some very famous people delivering the milkshakes. Pass them on out. We've got Stevie Wonder over there. Fat Midler, look at that, Dolly Parton. Wow, I thank you so much. Here, let me have oh, one. we gotta have one. Okay, you can have one. Thank you. They're delicious. Cheers. Oh, Cheers, man. everybody. We're gonna take a quick break. When we get back, more with Sarah Winter, more with Dolly Parton's boobs. In the shot, that was great. And the music of Lifehouse, right after this. It's Las Vegas. Shake your ass, show me what you're working with. I said, shake that fast. Shake it fast, show me what you're working with. Shake it fast. Shake it fast, show me what you're working with. Coming up so you better get this party started. work, Richard. Thank you. Everybody's enjoying their lovely virgin drink at 2 o'clock in the morning in Las Vegas. But it's a delicious milkshake. We're here with Sarah Winter, Life House Perform momentarily. We were talking about the last time you were in Vegas, you know, your parents did the renewing of their wows. Um, 
Did you get to take in any of the sites? Did you see any of the landmark, the marquee uh, things here? We um, took a private plane over the Grand Canyon, which was amazing. Oh, that's very nice. But I really wanted to see Siegfried and Roy. Really? I didn't get to do it, and I haven't been able to do it this time. It's funny that you say that, Sarah, because I knew that about you, and they're very, very popular here, Siegfried and Roy. I, I don't know, know if you know that. They're huge. They're huge. They're on a very, very tight schedule, but they're huge fans of 24. No. So we asked them just to maybe, if they could, just stop by. And they agreed. So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome, and it'll be quick because I gotta go. Siegfried and Roy, everybody. There they are. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, get out of here. There you go. Fantastic. I would, I, I would so go to the end of the earth for you, Sarah. I'm touched. You see, they're in and they're out. They got a big show tonight. They got I, a big show, and they brought the, they brought the pussy cat with them there. You, you've got pull in this town. Some serious Vegas pull. Huh. I'd like to thank the mayor too for making that possible. <laughs> uh, or let's be serious and talk about 24. I love this program. Uh, it's, I talk about it all the time on the show. We've had pretty much the whole cast there. We saved you for Las Vegas for our big show. When we had Kiefer Sutherland on last call when we were shooting in New York. I don't know if you've heard this story. One of the funniest things happened on the show. I was talking with Kiefer about you. Uh, I asked him a question, and he took the question that I was asking him, and he thought I was asking something else. We have a clip of it. This is Kiefer Sutherland from 24, the last time he was on the show in New York. Take a look. I've watched the show from the beginning, and that young lady in it, I, I, you know, I thought it was very attractive. And now I'm real. I think she's really, really attractive. When are you gonna uh, sleep with her? Eddie? <laughs> She's got a wonderful boyfriend. Um, Not even in real life. Uh, I mean. Oh, just on the show. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Do you I, get that? I meant, I didn't mean Sarah Winter. I meant Kate, Kate the character on the show. Oh, she's got a boyfriend. How, how do you not love Kiefer Sutherland? I love him so much. Did he tell you about that? He did tell me about that. He was laughing. And he thinks I'm very reserved and very sort of a nice girl and, you know, don't party too much. and. Carson, I'd like to shatter that image of him. Yes, I think you and, should. And right now, yeah? give you a lap dance. Are you? Really? Can I? Fantastic. Can I? Bring it on, baby. You what? are good. That was that, my idea. No, listen. Had I known that whole thing was going to happen, I would have worn sweats. I just didn't. <laughs> I honestly just didn't know. Well, I had to like. I, I would have worn something. Go out with a bang. Something thin. Wow, that was not planned, and it's definitely getting hot in here. Let's take a quick break. That was great. Thank you so much. You have no idea. Let's re-rack that. And take a look at that again. Uh, we'll be right back with the music of Lifehouse. It's Sarah Winter, everybody. You're out of your mind. Right. Said he gonna set my soul.